All right, Shalom. First off, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahusha, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadas. Okay, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. This is Shed Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, the ones that are that are the elect. Okay, uh, the ones that are signing and crying for all the abominations out here. You know, in us in this society, okay. The title of this video, you know, is uh, "Blessings to the Righteous," man. You know, because that's what's gonna come, okay, to to the ones who, uh, you know, actually believe, okay, and are doing what the scriptures say, okay. The the, the spirit that those uh that those brothers are in is is a beautiful spirit, man. Okay, and it shows, man. Through you know, when you look at all the the, the unrighteousness in this world, you know, as it stands, um, it, it, it sometimes it, it, it uh messes with you, man. So so to have a, a a righteous brother, you know, there that's you know pushing right alongside you, okay, that's a beautiful thing, man. You know, um. I'm going to get this uh, scripture um, to start it off, you know. Um, Ezekiel uh, 14 and 22. It says, Yet behold, therein shall be left a remnant that shall be brought forth, both sons and daughters. Behold, they shall come forth unto you, and you shall see their way and their doings, and you shall be comforted concerning the evil. Okay, what's the evil, man? The 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 ways of, of this world, man. You know, there's a lot of uh, wickedness out here, man. You know, I should have said, hey, curses to the to the wicked, man. You know, that, that's they through the spirit. That's probably what I end up uh, putting, man. Blessings to the righteous and curses curses to the wicked, man. You know, because hey, man. The, the 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 evil that's out here among uh Israel man is prevalent man like you know it's a lot of adultery you know the the, the uh the word was given unto you so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans and y'all just y'all just casting the word behind you man you know y'all y'all don't even care y'all um you know y'all always say that oh that's the white man's book well who uh, who told you that the white man is a uh is, is honest man that he's he's telling the truth man? When have when have you ever known the so-called white man or the Caucasians to be to be uh truth tellers man? You know in any sense, okay. So so that should that should be a sign in itself man that that these motherfuckers be lying man. You know it says um. And comforted uh, concerning the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem, even concerning all that I have brought upon it. And they shall comfort you when you see their ways and doings, and you shall know I have done without cause all that I have done in it, saith the Lord God. Okay? So when you look at the, 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 the state that our people are in, you know, Especially in Baltimore, you have a lot of uh, crackheads, you know, a lot of niggas, a lot of crime rape and stuff like that, you know. And uh, just the, the, the state of our people, you know, you just look at it and just be like, well, the Lord did this for a reason, man, because our people are wicked, okay? And and, and the fact that you have brothers that are on the, the, the same page, okay, that come in and they want to do the right thing, man. You know, and not be a nigga in this fucking world, okay? That's a blessing, man. Okay? Onto you. That should, that should be a, a comfort onto you, okay? The fact that you actually have a brother, okay, that's 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 able to tell you when you're going off or, you know, able to be humble and, and, and listen when when you tell them that they're going off, okay? But even just about uh, the fact that brothers go off because we all go off. But the thing is that the fact is that we're trying to be righteous, man, and do what the Lord say, okay? That's a blessing, man, 
okay? Um, because I was just I was just looking at a um a documentary, man, of uh basically uh Esau trying to break down how we in the the, the end days and stuff like that, and they were just going off all throughout the whole entire documentary, man. <coughs> and it's to the point where you can't even tell uh, people out here, hey, the so-called white man is, is the devil. People ain't going to believe it, you know. You can't tell them, hey, don't do not do this, you know, don't don't uh, eat certain foods. People ain't going to believe it because why? The so-called white man allowed these things to happen. So I'm going I'm to get this. And I'm going to read it on down, okay? Psalms 37. It says, uh, Fret not yourself because of evildoers. <coughs> okay? I mean, you know, like that that chick, um, I think she was from uh, Maryland, uh, Corin Gaines. Like, she was really, really mad at the police, you know? And we know that the police harass people and stuff like that, you know, for, for no reason. Sometimes they have a reason for for uh, why they harass people. Well, we know that Satan just uh, he, he he's over top of them uh, the, the the police and you know the people in this this society that you know aren't uh, of the elect of Israel, okay? But Corin Gaines, you know, she got put to death, you know, because she was uh, fretting, man. She was really really hot, you know, or heated and emotional against the so-called white man. Okay, it says, fret not yourself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Okay? For they shall be soon cut down like the grass and wither as the green her herb. You know? So, so, you know, why why be uh super mad at the uh so-called white man, man? You know, for for the things that they do when you know that hey, their end. The Lord is going to destroy them, man. Okay? The one who the world ignorantly calls God, okay, and the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus is going to destroy the so-called white man, okay? And the ones that are wicked. That's that's a part of that curse, man. Okay? Why get mad when you when you know that, okay, they come up and they say whatever the fuck they want to say and and and, and are rude, you know? To, towards us, okay, when we out at camp, and you just see, okay, this motherfucker, you know, you, you see that this person is a fool, why well, get mad? Because the scriptures say that that person is going to end up, that, that, that end of that man is going to be, you know, it ain't going to be good, man, you know? So, uh, continuing on, right, it says, uh, trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily, Thou shalt be fed, okay? And that's the thing, man, because somebody, somebody had asked me a question about uh, what does uh, knowing what tribe you're from and, uh, you know, uh, saying that you're an Israelite and all that stuff, what did that do for you? Okay? Honestly, it's all because of your help by some outside that we even end, you know, this hell in the first place, okay? And if this was our society, a lot of people would be getting getting destroyed, okay? But the thing is, you people don't know that when it comes down to, the, to, to, to knowing that you're from the tribe of Israel, okay? And knowing that the Bible is, is your book, okay? I'm talking about like actually knowing, like, and understand and having that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that's given unto us from y'all by some y'all side, okay? The actual spirit, okay, which is the Holy Spirit, okay, which is only given unto Israel, okay, to the elect of Israel. The the the, the fact is that knowing or, or, or having this understanding that you're an Israelite. The blessings and, and, and all that stuff that's in the, in the scriptures are for us, man. Okay? It's not for everybody else, you know? So so me knowing that I'm an Israelite, 
okay? Fuck this society, man, okay? Because they said, uh, how does knowing that you're an Israelite or, 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 or what tribe you from help this society, you know? Fuck this society, okay? Knowing that I'm an Israelite means that, hey, we're going through this through the spirit and power of, your, of, of the, the one who the world intimately calls God, okay? That we go out here and we curse this place, man, okay? And we go out here and we reach the ones that, that, are, that, are, that are fucking lost out here, you know? Due to many distractions and stuff like that, we go out here and we teach them, okay? And we bring them in, okay? And that, that allows them to be a, a righteous brother or a sister, man, okay? Is the, the first uh, scripture that I uh, read, man. You know, so that's a good thing about you know what what uh, knowing what what tribe you from, man, and 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 reaching the elect, okay, and getting them, okay, which is not us doing it. It's, it's the Most High who's in control of everything, getting His people, okay, to serve Him, and you see that they're on the same page, man, okay, and the ones that that don't want to get it, the ones that you know, uh, 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 being wicked and evil, they're going to get destroyed, man. Okay? It says, uh, delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Okay? So you got to actually delight yourself into this, this, this word, man. Okay? Do videos, store up videos, man. Study. Okay? Make sure the Lord comes first, man. Okay? Do according unto his will, you know? It says, uh, and he shall bring, he shall give you the desires of your heart, whatever you desire, man. Okay. See, a lot of people desire, create, you know, vanity in this this society, man. Oh, I want to go get joy in this, and I want to go get this, that, or whatever, you know. But those things, that that, that comes, that, those things come and go, man. We should want things that are permanent, man. Okay. A healthy, a healthy uh, body. Okay, to live forever. Okay, knowing what good food tastes like, knowing what good water is, man. Okay, these are the things that we should be desiring. Okay, desiring your how about some y'all side, man. Okay, and and if you desire him, okay, and you delight yourself into him, he's gonna he's gonna open up his understanding onto you, man. Okay, it says um. Commit your way unto the Lord, right? Being humble, okay? Following the will, living according to the Lord's way, okay? What he say, okay? If, if the Lord said not to do something, okay? Whether it's in the Old Testament or in the New Testament, you don't do it, okay? If he says to do something, then you do it. If, if the Lord said that somebody is wicked, okay? The, the so-called... Uh, the the, the, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American woman, okay? The Lord says that, you know, that that most of them are wicked, man, okay? Most of these niggas out here are wicked, okay? So what? We trust in that, okay? And I don't mean that everybody is wicked. Once again, that's why that scripture, uh, you know, about uh, the, the, the ones that are, that are sincere, you know, we they, we should be comforted because we, we see sincere uh, brothers or sisters, man. Okay, that's a comfort onto us. But the fact is that that you got curses, you know, and, and wicked people out here, man. That that gotta get destroyed, man. It's so warm to the to the actors on the uh, comment board. It says, um, it says, uh, commit your way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Okay, make if you trust in the Lord and you commit your ways onto Him, the Lord is going. At the end of the day, we're coming upon a time where y'all by some y'all saw is going to make known who his real men are, okay? And that glory that's that's going to be that's going to come to to those uh people, you know that are that are righteous and in, in the Lord's eyes, okay? That blessing man of of, of the glory that that the Lord is going to bestow on those people, man, okay? When when Yahweh saw crown. His uh, elect, you know, <laughs> that's gonna be a beautiful moment, man, because you actually trusted and you 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 actually put in the time, okay? You actually had faith, man. 
for you, how about some y'all shot? Okay? He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna bring it to pass, man. And let's it's gonna be so far, man. Words ain't gonna be able to you ain't gonna be able to put it in words, man. Okay? It says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked wicked devices to pass. Okay, that RFID chip is a wicked device. Okay. When you when you look at all the things that that what the scriptures say, it's the wicked that prosper in this world, man. Okay, we're not looking to prosper here, man. Okay, we're looking for our daily bread, the things that we need to get by. Okay, and the and the the, the cling and cleave on to y'all by some y'all side, man. Okay, and the Lord is going going to uh, allow us to prosper, man. That's going to be a blessing unto us. It says, cease from Eve anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself in any wise to do evil. You know, like that, that video of the, these, these Edomites trying to break, break down Bible prophecy, man. You know? Like, like these, these niggas don't, don't, uh, don't fucking know uh, these scriptures, man. You know? Talking about, uh, you know, there's going to be an antichrist that's, that comes and, and uh, you know, uh, a lot of people won't believe him. You know, these are Edomites saying that. And it's like, nigga, you are the fucking Antichrist, man. <laughs> you know? It says, uh, for evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. You know, and that's going to be a blessing. You ain't going to have none of this, you know, unrighteousness that's, that's out here in this world, man. You know, in the kingdom. Okay? What the scriptures say, this corruption must put on incorruption. Okay? So these bodies, you know, that's that's gonna be a blessing, man, to, 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 to actually, you know, have, you know, what they're gonna be extraterrestrial. Okay. The 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 uh the bodies that we have, they ain't gonna be sick no more. Okay, you're gonna have spiritual powers. You know, it's gonna right now we be like, oh uh, you know probably get a cold or something like that you'd be like you know you feel feel a little down but when you actually get get the uh the the, the spiritual power it's gonna be like god dang man like you know you go zap an edomite or some shit man you know or go do whatever that you know whatever comes to your to your mind man at that that uh particular moment man you know but but the the, the thing is that's gonna be a blessing man the fact that we're gonna have new bodies man you know the fact that, you know, the, the, the standards that in this society, they all going to be reset, man. Okay? It ain't going to be no, uh, you know, you got on Jordans, you know, so all of a sudden you you a man. You you, you the man because you fresh. You know? Being fresh and everything is going to be going to be a natural thing for us, man. You know? Not because of somebody who has some name brand stuff, man. You know? It says, uh... For yet, for a little while, and the wicked shall not be, yeah, uh, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. So why get mad, man, when we know that, you know, at the end of the day, all right, you know, we're oppressed, we, you know, the scripture says, surely oppressed and make a wise man mad, but, you know, to go out here and actually um, uh, be mad, like, as if you don't understand that at the end of the day, the, the, the ones that are wicked, okay, the the, the, the Edomites and two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. But then what? After a thousand years, okay, these Edomites are going to be put to, put put to death, man. But they're going to have to go, uh, cause, yeah, Satan messing with the stream, man. Uh, they're going, they're going to go into slavery, man. And we're going to, um, we're going to have, uh, uh, servants and handmaids, man. Concubines and stuff, man. You know, so why be mad? You know, right now we suffering, you know, but this is just for a moment, man. You know, it says, um, but the meek so inherit the earth and so delight themselves in the abundance of peace. You ain't gonna have to hear no, no sirens running up and down the street no more. You know, gunshots. Uh, major uprisings, you know, 
insurrections, basically. You know, the time of Jacob's trouble, man, because the Lord going to deliver us from it, man. It says, the wicked plots against the just and gnashes upon him with his teeth. The Lord so laugh at him, for he sees that his day is, is coming. It says, the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. So you can't even, can't even say that, uh, you know, the LGBT community is, uh, you know, wicked, you know, without people coming at you, man. Like they made a big deal about genuine, uh, uh, saying he ain't want to kiss a, a Edomite, man. You know, they made a real big deal about that. You know, he's trans transphobic. God damn right, you you should, you should be transphobic, man. You know, in our kingdom that wouldn't even exist, man. That that would that that abomination would be put to death, man. Okay. It says, uh. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bowls shall be broken. Okay, the missiles, man. Okay, that, that that's that destruction that's going to be coming, man. Okay, it's like okay, well, if you don't want to believe it, you know, then oh well, you don't want to believe it, but that's a part of the curses that that's that's going to be coming, man. Okay, famine. Okay, the different types of uh, animals and their teeth, man. Okay. The, the poison, the venom, these things are all coming on to the to the uh, to the to the wicked man, okay. Uh, the sword, Esau got so many different type of weapons, man. That's just, you know, he's gonna be putting a lot of people to death, man. You know. Um, we we'll continue on. It says, a little that a righteous man has. Is better than the riches of many wicked, you know, and and a, hey, that's that's a, a very very good scripture, man. Because you know I used to have money before I came into the truth, and y'all by some y'all side took all of that away from me, you know. And when I had money, <clears throat> people always came to me, and and what you know, you they would ask me to do things and stuff like that. But then when I ended up being you know uh, homeless, okay, and coming into the truth. You know, those people wasn't wasn't around, man. They they wasn't nowhere to be found or even to help me out, man. You know. But but the thing is, now that I'm in the truth and y'all about some y'all side is, is sustaining me, you know, I'm content with the things that I have. You know, I'm, I have peace and I have real brothers, man. You know, whereas though that you know when when I did have you know whatever money that I had, people kept on looking at me like yo like. You know, he think he better than people. And it's like, yo, I don't think I'm better than no fucking body, man. You know? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, if you, you if you came to me about anything, man, I'd try to help you out, man. You know? And that's the same way in this truth. If, if a brother came to me and tried to ask, hey, you know, I need this or I need that. I'm going to try my best to, to, to make sure that I help that brother out, man. Okay? To the best of my ability. Because when I had my money... I wasn't doing it. I was, even though I had the ability, I was doing it way past what I was supposed to do. And that's the, that's, in this truth, you know, you got to be wise, man, because some brothers get over on you, man, you know? But that don't mean that, you know, you don't trust in y'all by seeing y'all side at the end of the day, man, you know? Because if, if that brother do unrighteous, then what? We talking about the curses that's going to come upon the wicked, man, you know? But but if the if you're doing right onto a brother, man, and that brother, you know, is gonna pay you back, man. Okay, it says, um, for the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance should be forever. You know what the scripture says in Psalms two and uh, eight? It says, Ask of me and I should give give you the uh, wicked for a possession, man. You know? So we're gonna have the we're gonna we gonna be able to tell these Edomites, hey, you know, go do this and go do that. You know, the same way the things that they did to our people, we're going to be able to do, man. You know? Because they, they, you know, they they, they had a, they had us uh, picking cotton and all type of shit, man. You know? They're going to be doing worse, man. You know? We're going to 
kill them with the truth, man. You know, hey, you you, you shouldn't have did, did what you did to the, to the Lord's people, man, because we're the, we're the apple of the Lord's eye, man. You know, and we're going we're going to be living forever, man, while doing it, man. These these heathens and stuff, they're going to be still dying, man. You know, they're going to be passing away. You know, we're going to live forever. Our people, you know, they ain't going to have the 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 um, you know, uh, the the tears and stuff like that no more. You know, there ain't gonna be no crying, no more pain, okay, no more suffering, okay, and that's a part of the hope, man. You know, because our people, man, we all hurt, man, in this society, man. And if you don't feel like you hurt, man, then something is wrong, man. If you got pride, something is wrong, man. You know, it says, uh, they shall not be ashamed in an evil time, okay. And we not going when that time comes when when the Lord starts. Put a lot of people to death, man. We ain't gonna be ashamed, man, because wow, we know what's what's going on. You know, we ain't out here, you know, struggling, you know, working super overtime just to try to make some money. You know, when the when the fucking money is gonna be, you know, the dollar bill gonna collapse. Okay, we ain't sitting up here, um, you know, doomsday prepping with food that you know gonna fucking expire or gonna be given away to somebody else. You know, you don't know if you're going, you, you, you prepping all this shit at home, okay? But you don't even know if you, you're going to be able to make it, make it back home if some shit happened to you, man. You know? It says, uh, and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied because the Lord is going, going to feed the, 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 uh, the elect, man. Okay? The ones that, you know, who prepping that, that food going to be for the elect. It says, but the wicked shall perish. The enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They cause they shall consume into smoke, uh, into smoke, so they consume away. Right? I'm gonna read a couple more verses, and I'm gonna close the lesson. It says, "The wicked borrows and pays not again." It says, "But the righteous soweth mercy and gives." For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth. And they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. Okay? And that's what, you know, we, we put up curses on, on a so-called white man, man. Okay? Because he's a he's a devil. He's a demon. He done, he done fooled a lot of our people, man. Okay? To, to thinking, you know, mad lies, man. So, you know, them, them curses, man, are going to come, man. Okay? You know? It says, uh, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Okay. I have been young, and now, and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. You know, you got uh, a lot of homeless people out here in, in, in this society. You know, and sometimes you don't know whether or not, you know, that homeless person could be an angel, you know. But for the most part, you got a, a lot of, like, majorly homeless people. And you got to sit up there and wonder, like, how the heck do you get to your, to that point, man? You know, of just being just straight up broke, you know. Why? Because the Lord, basically, you're not righteous and the Lord forsakes you, man. Okay? But if you're a righteous man, the Lord ain't going to forsake you, man. The Lord going to protect you. Okay? And y'all about some y'all size out blessing at the end of the day, man. Okay? And if and if you're not in this truth, okay? If you're not worshiping or or, or you know down with with, with, with this, this 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 cause, okay, to the to the fullest, then guess what? Y'all about some y'all size a curse to you, man. Okay? So, you know, with that man, you know, the I'm gonna close the lesson. You know, there was more in there, but, you know, I think I got the point across, man, that, you know, you help us from your size, our blessing, okay? And, uh, yeah, that's all, y'all about some your size, our portion, man, you know? But with that, man, Lord willing, this was edifying, you know, I want to say, uh, Salawam, till next time, keep pushing. <laughs>